Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether Yahweh shall lead thee. Michael Jackson, I said, if you're poor, you are a poor Negro. I would use the N-word. But if, you, if you're rich, you are a rich Negro. If you are intelligent, intellectual, you are intellectual Negro. If you are dancing and sliding and gliding, nigger, I mean, ne Negro. <laughs> and you, you old decrepit bastard ought to show them every hospitality. You understand that? Yes, sir. Him, I understand, but I don't know why I got to take lip well, off this nigga. No, I have to know why. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I, I understand. Yeah. And she calls the, us the black. N -word. I'm the other the black girl. Let's get to the N word. I mean, hey, I know I'm do black. We have, hey, do oh, we now have? Now you want to address what I have to say? Do we have a house in here? Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Do we? Hey, yeah, yeah. do we? <laughs> would 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 no, would no, she no. please stand up? Y'all are seeing this, right, camera? All right. That's what Miss Freeman was called. Not That's what the mayor called her. What do y'all think about that? Joe Biden is not the president. Nobody voted for Joe Biden. I'm a law enforcement officer, and I do my best to keep politics out of my job. But in this circumstance, I responded. Well, I voted for Joe Biden. Does my vote not count? Am I nobody? That prompted a torrent of racial epithets. One woman in a pink MAGA shirt yelled, you hear that, guys? This nigger voted for Joe Biden. Then the crowd, perhaps around 20 people, joined in screaming, boo, fucking nigger. No one had ever, ever called me a nigger while wearing the uniform of a Capitol Police officer. The Bible prophesied that the chosen people of the Most High God, whose real name is Yahweh, and son who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, would be called a byword, which would be an insult to one's characteristics, like a person's skin tone or head texture. Also would be called a proverb, like lazy nigga, nigga don't like to work, a nigga love watermelon and chicken. I'm sure many of us have been to church, but we never heard this scripture that I'm about to read, which is Acts chapter 13, verse 1. We're going to get deep into this word, nigga. I'm going to show you that the type of apostle and his peers was called nigga. The meaning of the word and where it came from it is Acts chapter 13, verse 1. Now that we're in the church that was at Antioch, certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called nigger, and Lucius the Cyrene, and Manan, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. So let's go scroll down to that word nigger, or some might say it's niger, but I'm going to show you it's a Latin word. And it's actually pronounced nigger. Nigger. Strong's G, 3526. Nigger. Nigger. All right, let's scroll down to the um, Strong's info. And we see nigger of Latin origin, black nigger a christian so the word christian and the word nigger is synonymous meaning they have the same meaning if you call a person a christian you call them black if you call a person a nigger you call them a christian so it don't have nothing to do with no religion the christians are actually black people or niggers the true christians some that are ignorant to the bible might ask 
Why would they call somebody in the Bible a nigga? Isn't the Bible a white man's book? My answer would be, hell no. Nah. Peter was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, which is one of the three tribes of the southern kingdom. I prove that the Bible is a book full of people of color and lacking color, which is melanin is a curse and a sin, and our ancestors knew this. They understood this. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 12, verse 8. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of Yahweh shall he behold. Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against them, and he departed. <clears throat> and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my lord, I beseech thee, lay not sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. So Miriam, which was Moses' sister, was cursed for speaking against Moses because he had married an Ethiopian wife. He had took an Ethiopian wife um, to marry. And um, they were speaking, Aaron and uh, Miriam were speaking against Moses. And the Most High came down and cursed Miriam and took a melanin away, took a color of pigment away. And she became leprous, white as snow. And this is another example of um, demonstrating that the Bible is of people of color. This is Moses in the book of Exodus, chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 and it says and Yahweh said furthermore unto him put now thou hand into thy bosom and he put his hand into his bosom and when he took it out behold his hand was leprous white as snow and he said put thine hand into thy bosom again and he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom and behold it was turned again as his other flesh. So right there, that's a clear cut example showing that Moses was a man of color. You black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you are the chosen people, and you've been lied to. We forsook the Most High Yahweh, and he cursed us. Read Deuteronomy 28, the whole chapter, and you will see that's the curses that was put on us. We are the only people on the planet that these curses fit. We are the lost tribes of Israel. This is why we don't know who we are. This video is not for those who already know the Israelites. It's for those who don't know. And this is clarification of that. This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 3 through 4. O my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil, and thy, and, and thy high places for sin throughout all thy borders and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not for you have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever we are serving our enemies in a land which we know if not because we're not from America we was snatched up on slave ships and brought over to this land our true land is Israel Music on the track.